Hey guys, hope you're all having a good day by the time you're watching this. Um, so for the past couple of days since Vanguard's launch, I've been seeing a ton of people posting on Twitter about having extra codes to give people. And, you know, they're more than likely scams. I just, trust me, I don't want you to believe any of these things. Don't fall for it. They are more than likely scams. But, you know, they're saying with courtesy of Activision themselves, and they're actually adding the actual Activision Twitter account and Blizzard as well. Um, but they're saying that because of them, with courtesy of them, we are able to do a giveaway. And of course, they'll tell you to like, share, and follow for, oh, and DM them or comment down below what their, you know, console is, and they'll give you a copy. You know, it, it's a big scam okay and, and just don't fall for it guys you really don't but here in a few moments i'm going to be popping up a series of pictures of just some of these posts now there's just some of these posts okay and have some of their uh have their profile you know picture and username blacked out because i don't want you guys to fall for this scam so even if this is true you know, this means that using the claim that Vanguard is going to be the most sold Call of Duty to date is a sham. It really is, because, you know, these digital games are adding numbers to their total overall revenue. You know, that's if these this is true. But, you know, here's... But the thing is, is like, if this is the case with Vanguard, who's to say that this isn't... This wasn't the case with Cold War? Because if you remember, Activision said that they sold the most digital copies of the game of Cold War in 2021. And the reason behind this is obvious because, one, we are in a pandemic. Two, people tend to buy games digitally nowadays because they don't want to go to a store when they get off work. They're tired. They want to go home and play their game. And three, some people may have digital-only consoles, like some of the newer consoles. I think the Xbox Series S and I think the PlayStation 5 has a digital-only uh, console as well. And hell, even people like me on PC, we have no choice but to buy it digitally. We're in the, digitally, the digital purchasing age where all the games are being digitally purchased. You know, physical media is running out. It's the sad truth, but it happens. You know... Going back to this, if you fall for this scam, I truly think you may not have any brain cells. Because why on earth would you want to give someone clout for giving you a game that is riddled with bugs, glitches, and a shit tier zombies mode? I have a video on both of those coming up. I have a video that's going to be coming up, I think, tomorrow. Uh, I'm pushing the zombies one back, but I have a video that's going to be coming up tomorrow. Uh, detailing how people are, you know, glitching the the uh, camo, whatever the master camo is in this game. I haven't even paid attention to it because I don't care uh, for both multiplayer and zombies. You know, I'm going to be exposing those people for it. I, you know, if you do, you're probably going to get banned. I don't know if it's, you know, it's some kind of bug. You know, I don't know if it's going to get rid of it or not. But I'm also put a, you know, a video up about why Treyarch should be ashamed for themselves for even releasing this zombies mode. It really is bad. But going back to what we're talking about, a fellow YouTuber by the name of Blame Truth, who I've mentioned before on this channel, showed to statistics of how badly Cold War was selling on the Microsoft Store. And, you know, I'll leave... I'll leave a link to that video of his in down in the description because he has like all the screenshots and everything. But who's to say that these Twitter users aren't trying to do these giveaways because they want to, they're too much of a fanboy to say the game is bad and, you know, want the excuse that, well, the game sold the best. One, saying a game sold the best doesn't mean it's so good that it sold out. It just means, you know, it sold. They have a good marketing scheme. Activision really does have a good marketing scheme. They could give you a box full of shit and just put Call of Duty on it and people will buy it. Look how many people bought stupid skins for Cold War. You know, it just it doesn't it's not a valid excuse. But if this is true and Activision is allowing certain influencers to give away a copy of the game, 
then why boast about the game being so popular when you're having to resort to these giveaways for the game just to gain traction and get it into the hands of so many people? You know, in my last video, I joked about these developers aren't playing their games. You know, and they're not. They really are not. Uh, example in the last video, go check that one out if you haven't already. But, um, you know, I joked about it in the last video. And who's to say that the reason why these devs don't play their game is because they know the game is bad. And you know what? I think they really do know the game is bad. But, you know, they're having to resort to these giveaways to get in so many copies in the hands of the public. It's a scammy tactic because they know the the the, the, the loyal pay, player base, excuse me, the loyal player base won't buy it with all these content creators calling them out on this year's game. I mean, look, this game has some good points in it, so I don't want to hear people calling me out saying you're just bitching about it for views. I generally am upset about this because they gave us a shit game last year and they're giving us another one this year. I really want Call of Duty to just go back to the way things used to be. Black Ops 2 was the last good Call of Duty, in my opinion. And I haven't seen any of the other game beat it in any way. Zombies was good in Black Ops 2, and multiplayer was the best it has ever been, even though I may get a lot of hate for that one. You know, I'm just stating my personal opinion. But I'm out of time, guys. Final score is 18 to 11. 18 kills, 11 deaths. Uh, I have another video coming up about zombies and also people glitching camos on their guns. Be sure to subscribe and like the video and share it around. I'd appreciate it a bunch. Be safe and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.